Hi there. How's it? How, how's everyone today? How's your day going? Is it going good? Bad? Have you forgot anything? <laughs> Not being able to find something? How's work? Or not? Right, today I've had, my day's been quite busy. Cleaned up after all my cats. I swear to God, I've racked my whole way every day, right? Daily. Daily. Because my cats, when they fight, be it play fighting or aggressively fighting, the top part of my hallway by my front doorway gets covered in clumps of fur. Real bad. And I'm thinking one of these days my cat's going to be bold. They're going to be bold as a coot. Anyway, so I thought today, rather than just vac, I'll definitely get this other part of the vacuum on it, which gets more of the hair up. Well, that didn't work either, so... I'm going to have to buy this thing you can buy on Amazon and it's like a little hang thing and you rake it across the gar carpet and it pulls up all the hair. Because I know even with vacuum, it looks okay, but I know there's still cut hair or something in that carpet. It's starting to annoy me. So, yep, I've been busy doing that this afternoon as well as doing some research this morning when I got up. I thought I'd do that first, get that out of the way. So I can concentrate on other things. I've just been watching the case of... Oh, what was it now? Hold on, I'll tell you. Hold on. The Trials of Gabriel Fernandez. I don't know how many times I've watched this. You know what I mean? But each time I watch it more, I I find new things out. It's like the first time I watched it, it's just a, like I watched it and it just went in the one ear and out the other. And each time I watch it, it goes in one ear, mixes a little bit, goes out the other, leaving little bits behind, sort of thing. So, it's a shame that was. The system let him down. And so many other children are being let down by the system still today, even in the UK. Even in the UK. It's like over here, we get disability, right? And in the UK, they call it PIP, personal, personal summer. And, well, in England, they call it PIP. In Scotland, they call it adult disability living allowance. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're working or not, you can claim it because it goes on your disability, right? Uh, your mobility, how much movement you got, can you do this, can you do that? Like I get it because of my because of my disability and I get it as well because I have trouble now reaching with my right arm, right? And I can't undo certain tops, bottles and things like this and I have to use a little footstool now to get into my cupboards. But before I could reach up and get it out, but I can't do it no more. And just filling my kettle up because I'm right handed, I can't hold the kettle and fill it up because it's too heavy. So I have to use a jug, which I can use in my left hand and take over to the kettle. So for reasons like that, I get my disability, right? Now, in England, they're wrong about giving it out as uh, vouchers. And I thought, yeah, okay. 
But where are these vouchers going to be able to be used? And you're only like, a lot of people don't like to, like some people who are on disability, like myself, you will get, no, I've got a disability, right? So people don't like to actually say, oh, look, I've got a disability. You know what I mean? They don't like to announce it. So having um, vouchers is not a good thing for some people. But in another way, I can understand where it's coming from because then a lot of people who are using this disability money for other reasons rather than just food or clothing or household goods to help them, you know what I mean? They're using it for other things. So I can see where they're coming from. But in another way, I don't think it's a good idea. And to be honest with you, I don't think that would help the children either. I really don't. Because the parents would just sell the vouchers to get what they need. You know what I mean? They just use the vouchers. I've got this amount of vouchers. Can I have... If you, I give you these vouchers, can you give me this? And these children are still going to suffer. Anyway. We're here for Jay. Jay Slater. As you all know by now. The search has been called off. And... But what gets me is they said the search is called off, but they they still got an investigation going on. But are they doing an investigation? Because they also said they will act on tips as they come in. So what does that mean? They're going to sit on the backsides and just wait for someone to phone up in with a tip. Oh, I seen Jay Slater here, or I found this here, I found that there, and then go out and investigate. Is that what they mean? Because I'm a bit confused on that. And I can see where the family would be upset about that because two weeks, we knew it would come to an end eventually. But when you're searching for someone in such a place like as barren as um, where there was, hold on, I'll just pull it up. Right? How can they say they've done a, a good search or anything like that in two weeks? It can't be done. And I'm not a searcher, but it can't be done. I'm sure of that. Come on. All right. So they're saying in the last two weeks, they have searched, oh, young, I'm going to get you to it. Click, click, clicking all the time. God's sake. Right, in the past two weeks, they've searched all this. Right. And down here, right, they've searched all this down here, all these ravines. Right? All these ravines. In two weeks. Yep. All here. Here. Have the search over here. We don't know. And here. Here. They've done all that in two weeks. Now, I don't not think that's possible. I think the reason they've called the search off is for two reasons. One, we had uh, an investigator go over there and state he could, he could solve this case if he got all the information was able to speak to all the people inf involved he would solve this case in three days now if i was spanish police i could go 
You can solve this case in three days. Well, there's all the information you need. There's all your people you need to speak to. Go ahead. Go ahead and solve this case. Right? Find this missing lad in three days. Go ahead. Right? And then, okay, we've got a, a lad guy over there, which I really like. And he is out there searching. Right? He is out there searching. And he's, he wasn't happy with how the search went. On that Saturday, I believe it was, when they did a big call out for volunteers to come forward with experience and knowledge of working in this sort of terrain. Right? And they had six people turn up. Six. That's with him as well. That's with that, whatever his name is now, Paul Long or Ag, whatever. And um, only six. And then they spent the whole morning standing around doing nothing. So he took his name off the list right, and went and done his own search. He had some lunch first and then went and started to search. But a whole morning had been wasted. A whole morning waiting for this press release. And it just so happens the Spanish police, uh, Spanish, have only done one press release. And that was Saturday. One press release. And then on the Sunday, they announced they're, sc they're stopping the search. Right? Have they got other information as to what may have happened? Possible. Possible. But I don't see... Right? Now, there was one guy today, and I'm oh going to see if I can get, get him up on... I bet I didn't save I bet I didn't download it. Oh, did I? I don't know. I'll have to... I think I did. But I'm going to have to... go through my downloads to see which one it was. And he's out there searching. He's another TikToker. Right? And it said it took him five minutes... To go five, a very short distance, you could say, from the pathway in. Because he stood on this pathway and he said it's round about here that the phone last pinged. Right? Now, it's not on the pathway because it would have been found. So it has to be out in the bushes. So he's tried going through them bushes and it took him five minutes to get a very short distance. And you say, there's no way that Jay came down a path like this and then decided to walk off into the bushes. No, it's not happening. It wasn't happening. He said, if that phone is in these bushes anywhere, it's because it was up, they were down on the path. Whoever it was, be it Jay or whoever else, was down on the path and threw the phone into those bushes. Because there's no way you're going to walk into them bushes. You're not. He said it took him five minutes. Plus, an inquest, interesting point come up today. Probably here as well on one of these clips I've got. On one of these I've got. Was he was talking to his friend first, Brad. And his friend was saying, I was in a good mood, he's happy, you know what I mean? He's showing us, look where I am, right? And we was laughing about it and all this lot, right? And then he says, he said, I could hear he was, he'd gone off road because I could hear the gravel under his feet. And then he goes, I'll call you back, I'll call you back, and cuts off. So he said he reckoned he was getting an incoming phone call. And then, Lucy May apparently phoned him. He didn't phone Lucy May. Lucy May phoned him. And in that phone call, it was, I don't know where I am. I'm lost. I've got no water. I've got a cut to my leg. I think it's my being infected. A cactus cut my leg, cut myself against a cactus. I think it may be poisonous. And all panic stricken. 
right? How could a lad who was laughing about, about it with his friend just minutes before suddenly go from being happy and laughing, right, to, oh my God, I don't know where I am. I'm, I've cut my leg on a cactus. I think it might be poisonous. I've got down to 1% battery. I've got no water and I'm walking home. How how does that mindset come in from being, oh, look where I am, look, and laughing to next minute, I don't know where I am, I'm lost. I've got no water. I'm down to 1% battery. That doesn't make sense to me. That's why I've always, I've been saying, I don't believe what Lucy said. And I'm not believing what Brad has been saying. Now, today, I've gone through and I've managed to download just some short pieces. A lot of them are from um, a YouTuber that I really, really do like. I think he's really good. And he does short two, three, five-minute videos, right? And I don't know which one to show you first. Hmm. That was 11 hours ago, one day ago. Six hours ago. Right, I'll show you. And then that was seven hours ago. Right, I'm going to show you this one first. Hold on. I'll pull it up for you in a minute. Right. Now, this is Evil Exists. I'll put his link in the description. Please go over and sign up, subscribe to him. He's really good. And he gets the information out there. He might book two or three videos out a day, but it's in two, or three, two to three minutes a video. Right, so they're not long videos. So let's just see what it says. This one. still missing and the search has been called off. His family are still in Tenerife and are being urged to use the GoFundMe money wisely. Use the money to continue the search. Use experts in searching. Bring them to the area. Which I believe what he says next is, is the right idea. Use the money to bring in the experts. Right? From the Scottish Islands, from wherever. Bring them in. Use that money to get them in. Right, to fly them over, rather than to use it for family members and friends who can't do the search anyway. So to them, it's just like bringing them over and giving them a free holiday. And let them scour the area that Jay was last in. I also feel like that is a better use of the money, rather than bringing friends and family of friends to Tenerife that are not even able to search in that terrain. All the money should be used to help find Jay. Oh. That's the point of it. I also find it interesting how no reward has been set. Oh, I'm going anyway, to go back to it because I knew what I before. What? All the money should be oh. used to help. Just there. Just here. This person in white. Oh, look. It's Lucy May. Well, let's go back just a little bit further. Just this. Right. To search in that terrain. All yeah. the money sh oh. God, I hate to bring it to Sam. Friends to Tenerife that are not even able to search in that terrain. There. That's her. That is Lucy May. And she's trying to tell us she left early, alone. What did I say? All the money should be used to help out. find Jay. That's the point of it. I also find it interesting how no reward has been set up. Anyway, came across something very interesting that I needed to share today. We heard that police are looking into an incident that took place outside the party. A Rolex watch was stolen. They were looking at CCTV footage to see if Jay is linked to this incident at all. Here is apparent footage of that incident that I found on TikTok. Looking more into this Rolex incident, I came across these screenshots that were sent to Jay's mother, Debbie. This person claims to have been with Jay with Tenerife and... Right. Now, apparently, they're Moroccan or some of these guys, the are. Same plane. 
They claim to have pictures of Jay trying to sell the watch that I'm going to share with you today. Many are saying that it doesn't look like Jay. The text message to Debbie reads, Hi Debbie. I was on the flight with Jay, Lucy, and Brad, became close with them. We started meeting them each night at the festival and then on Saturday night, his maid and Jay tried to get coke, but Jay said he literally had no money left. On Sunday night, Monday morning, me and my mate went to Brad's hotel at 5 to 7 in the morning to chill. And on the way, him and Brad contacted Jay to let him know we were coming. And he right, now that bit gets me. It says Brad contacted Jay to let him know we were coming. And he mentioned he was going to try and come back to Brad's and meet us there. Hmm. He mentioned he was going to try and come back to Brad's and meet us there. Then we received a FaceTime call from Jay on Brad's phone as he left, and he left with two kitchen knives, as he didn't feel safe, because he previously mentioned on a Snapchat that he robbed a watch, and said he was going to sell it from 10000 We believe that this was to pay off a drug debt, as he said on Saturday night he had no money. Someone who was with Jay at the festival had a large amount of coke each night, and Jay didn't have any money to pay. So, he obviously got his coke off the Somalians that he left with. On Wednesday, my friends visited a coffee shop, and a Somalian man mentioned that he had a long night because his friend's friend had gone missing, and he was the last person he seen as he was the man that drove him to the apartment in the small white rental vehicle. His story seemed a bit scripted and he was stuttering quite a bit. He said he offered Jay a lift home the next morning, but Jay took it upon himself to leave, which we assumed to meet me and Brad and my friend back at the apartment. So, after looking at these texts, I also noticed that there were pictures sent to Debbie. This person claims to have pictures of the Somalian man, pictures of Jay on the way to sell the watch, and also a Snapchat of Jay talking about the watch. Here is a side-by-side -side of the man talking about taking and selling a watch, and Jay. Is that really Jay? Is this the missing piece to the puzzle? What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts down below. Right. Um. Uh I don't know. Is this watch a uh, real watch or is it... Um... Jay Slater is oh, still missing God. and the search... Or is it a code word? Aye, is it a code word? Could be. Rolex. Gold Rolex. Whatever. Rolex watch. So, because they do use code words, because they can't open this out. Oh, I've got some drugs here. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Um, where was the other one? Uh, let's oh yes there's glasses some glasses have been found haven't they hi some glasses have been found so i don't know and apparently they was found by that other tiktoker and well i think it's in one of the other downloads i've got right I think it might be in this one, the next one I'm going to show you. It might be in that TikTok, uh, that video. But really, I don't know. If those glasses were there, then they've been put there. Come on. As I said, if his body is found anywhere on them hills, on them mountains, he didn't put himself there. And it all, well, it all depends how far into the mountains his body is found. If he is found at all. I don't think he's up there. Right? I think those Somalians are just saying a story to cover their own backs. You know what I mean? Yes, he was there last night, but he left, at, went out for a cigarette, come back in and said he was leaving. Which doesn't make sense. Well, if you're leaving, okay, you're leaving. But why would you walk away uphill? 
Roy, rather than downhill. And there was a guy, I don't know if I've got that one, who drove down that road to that, uh, one of the guys. And there's some work going on in the road. So there's tra traffic lights to stop cars coming up or traffic lights to stop cars going down. And he said it's literally, what, a 10-minute walk. And as you're walking down that road from that Airbnb, on the pathway, there's a railing, right? There's a railing to stop you from going onto the hill. So why go the way uphill rather than downhill? None of that makes sense. None of the reasoning as the reasoning as to why he went back there makes sense. You wouldn't leave your friend that was obviously totally wasted alone and let him go back with two guys you've only just met a day or so ago. Right? They hadn't met him before. It wasn't as if they'd known him for weeks or months or years. So why would you just leave your friend? But if that's what friends are today, then I'm glad I'm not a youngster. Right? Because your friends will lead you right up the dog shit. Right? Now, let's have a look. Next, come out of this. Oh no, I don't have to do that. I can just go to my downloads. Some missing piece for power. Let's watch this one. It's glasses founding area. When I look at the terrain out there in Tenerife, I can't fathom why Chase Slater would voluntarily walk away instead of using the bus. The bus stop was right next to the rental property he stayed the night at with two other men he just met. Was he running from something? Did he have to leave in a hurry? It's being said that the next bus was leaving at 10 that morning, so why did Jay choose to walk with a low battery on his phone? What was the hurry to leave? The terrain is so rough, and the walk back to his accommodation would take 11 hours. Just really bizarre to me. Two days ago, there was a call for volunteers to come out and search. Sadly, only about six volunteers. I don't know what's going on, it's not my internet. I think it's fine at the moment. We showed up, including a British TikToker. Very. Perhaps it is my internet. Perhaps we've got a bit of bad weather coming. I don't know. Shouldn't be. Disappointing. The GoFundMe money has been withdrawn, and you. Oh, come on, internet. <sighs> Swear to God. Used to fly friends and family of friends to Tenerife. Many are. I don't know if it's a video or my internet because my internet is not flashing up saying this. Stating that this is a ridiculous way to spend the GoFundMe money, as every cent should be pumped into the search for Jay. Yeah. Whether that it should be pumped into the search. There you go. Oh, my internet. I'll be getting a phone call off me. Hiring private investigators or searchers. Just do something with that money that will actually help find Jay Slater. I've been following some locals on TikTok that have been searching for Jay on their own. One in particular, yeah. named Christopher. He is apparently from Tenerife and has been doing such a great job showing us the area and how rough that terrain is. This is where his phone is pinged. No, he's not pinged where I am on the path. It looks like he's pinged in the bush. I'm telling you now, he hasn't walked down there. You're not, what are you, there's nothing you can say to stand on. It's just brambles. You can lose your footing straight away. So, for me, if the phone's pinged in this area here, you can sort of throw it there. Right, seriously, forget this. I've moved into the brambles about fucking five metres. There you go, we just slipped. There's nothing to get you, your footing. There is no fucking way a lad after a three-day bender has walked 
into these fucking brambles. I am sweating to fuck. And I've literally you can see the path. To take me about five minutes. Round. And I'm about five fucking meters away from the path. For fuck's sake. You can't forget it. Look. There's the path there. There's no fucking way where his phone his phone is pinged that he has walked through this. Not a fucking chance. I've linked his TikTok account in the description below for those of you who would like to check it out. Anyway, this searcher has come across something really interesting that has now been shared all over Facebook too. A pair of glasses in an area that Jay's phone pinged. I thought we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of these glasses and the one that Jay was wearing in multiple pictures. Do they look alike? Could it be the same glasses? Could be. Doubt it. They could be anyone's glasses, you know what I mean? Could be any other hiker's glasses out there. You know what I mean? That's could be someone else, another hiker. Stop. When I look at the terrain out there. Stop. Well, it could be another hiker who's lost those glasses. So it's just too much of a coincidence that his phone ping. And it doesn't it doesn't say exactly where it pings, it gives you an an area. Right? Of where the phone is pinged. And so that could be anywhere. Anywhere. And they said in my thought, in my scene, not the sea. So that's probably what where he's heading to, the sea. It doesn't make sense. Why go that way, right? And instead of just staying on the road where people could have seen him, he could have hitchhiked to lift home, he could have got a taxi home, he could have caught the bus home, he could have gone and got a drink. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense that he's in there in the middle of nowhere. That's why I'm saying if his body is found anywhere in that area, it's not because he went there himself. I'm sorry to say that. Right. Another one we got is here. Again, by the same, by the same YouTuber. As I said, he's doing some very good work. He's getting this information. I don't even know how they're getting this information. Because I search everywhere. I First thing I do when I get up in the morning, I make myself a coffee. Well, I drink my coffee and whatever. I don't even drink all my coffee. I have half my coffee and then I log in. And I'm Googling and going on to see if there's any news updates, any anything. And I'm not coming across any of this. I'm only finding in this information on TikTok. And, but TikTok I don't trust. A lot, of, a lot of people on TikTok I'm not trusting. Absolutely concerning that Jay Slater, the 19-year-old young man that was on vacation with friends, vanished without a trace for more than two weeks now. The search has been called off for him, and there is apparently a parallel investigation going on. There are three major theories floating around in this case. The first one is that Jay was the victim of foul play. Someone yep. in Tenerife did something to him and hid the evidence. Yep. The crime covered up. Since hearing about Jay's past and the incident he was involved in previously, hurting and nearly killing a 17-year-old in 2021, many believe that Jay could have been killed in a revenge attack. Maybe drugs were involved and this was a drug deal gone wrong. Looking at footage of the terrain that locals have been posting, I find it so difficult to believe that Jay walked out of that house and decided to walk to his accommodation, which was 11 hours away on foot. Just shocking. What are Spanish authorities saying about the theory of foul play? The latest update from police is there is nothing to suggest Jay Slater was the victim of a crime, but that could change. Today, it has emerged that the female investigating judge... Right. 
There's two places you don't want to go and get lost. Two places. One is Tennessee, especially if you're a child. And one is Tenerife. Second one is Tenerife, Spain. Don't go there because the police will look but then give up on you. Same as in Tennessee. The police do a massive search, then scale back after a week. And then because everyone else is doing searches, like all these other groups are getting together and going out and doing searches, the police think, hmm, I think we'd better get off our backsides and do another two-day search. So they do another two-day search. And I can see this happening in this case. I can see the police thinking, hmm, I think we need to do a search again. You watch, they're going to do another search, I guarantee you. They're going to do another search. Who is being updated on the developments has been informed by the civil guard that there is nothing at this stage indicating that Jay was the victim of a crime. As per standard procedure in Spain, the police force is reporting to a court which has initiated a routine judicial investigation. The next theory is that this whole thing is one terrible accident. I see a lot of people who believe this theory as they say it's the most plausible. Jay left the rental and decided to walk. He didn't realize just far the walk was and got lost. He didn't charge his phone and the battery was low. Made a last call to his friend telling her he was lost, needed water, and the phone battery was low. Also shared that he cut his leg on a cactus and was worried it was poisonous. Jay also called his friend, Brad, they were laughing, and he saw Jay slip off the road. They were only concerned when they realized just how far away Jay was from the accommodation. The third theory that's floating around is very interesting. Some are suggesting that this whole disappearance is an act to get money. Maybe to pay off a drug debt. That is why the GoFundMe was set up so soon after Jay vanished. It suggested that his mother and friends are in on it. I don't know what to believe in this case anymore, but Jay is still missing. His family have vowed to stay in Tenerife and continue search efforts for him. Oh, right. Uh -uh. Slay right. I don't know what to make of this case. I really don't because... Uh, personally, my opinion, I don't believe he was ever up at that Airbnb. I believe, yes, that Ophelia, that woman, spoke to someone, but I don't believe it was Jay. Because why is a young lad going to go up to an Airbnb, right? How many miles away? I don't know. Now let's have a look. Um, let's. Just go from there. Right from there. Let's share this. To Masca Spain, right? Why is a lad? It's totally out of it. You can tell, and I don't care what anyone says, he was out of it. I know, I've seen that look on myself many times <laughs> when I was younger. Not no more. Right. Um I did for fire a couple of years ago on New Year's Eve. But I had had such a bad year that year. So it's just like I'm just gonna drain my sorrows. But I didn't wake up with a hangover, that's for sure. But why would a lad go from here? All about there. The two guys, they'd only met a couple of days before. Is he rumour is he said it was to carry on drinking, he wanted to carry on partying. His friend Brad wanted to go back to the hotel room, the apartments. And his friend said, When you get there, now his friend must have gone. Brad must have left him because We'll find out in some of the videos, in another video in a minute, that apparently he's saying, T turn your phone on, uh, put your ch phone on charge, 
and phone me when you get there. And my reply to that would be, are you my fucking mother? Right? <laughs> because a young lad isn't going to say things like that. He isn't. If he's that concerned about him, he'd have got him back to his apartment. If he's that concerned about him, going up with these two guys and making sure he's throwing his child sting all this lot, he would have made sure he went back to the apartments with him. Simple as. That's why I don't believe for one minute he got in a car and went all the way up here with his two guys. I don't. And unless someone can give me actual proof of him getting in the car and then driving away, I will not believe it for one minute that he got in a car and went to Masca. Won't. For all we know, that could have been Brad, that woman saw, at eight o'clock. You know what I mean? Could have been him. So, I think law enforcement over there, um, I don't know where Lucy is. I heard she'd left Tenerife, but I don't know. I don't know. She can't afford to be in the middle of this. She really can't. Because she won't be able to do her job. And that's why she distanced herself from me. I left alone early. His friend, Brad, I wanted to go back to my the apartment. Jay wanted to go back and carry on partying. So he's gone to the apartment and then messaged him saying, let me know when you get there and don't forget to put your phone on charge. As I said, if he's that concerned about him, why did you leave him? You know what I mean? Why did you leave your friend? Anyway, so we've got them. I don't believe for one minute, as I said, he's going up there. I really don't. If he's up there, it's not because he went there willingly. Put it that way. And then let's have a look. Uh, so the police don't think there's any criminality, evidence of any criminality involved. Have they been looking? Have they actually been looking at all these TikTok videos that are going out? You know what I mean? Now we've got this one here. This is from Evil Exist again. Right? And a lot of the pictures is showing, we've seen. We've seen all these pictures, okay? So, we've seen all these pictures. Jay Slater Case, 19-year-old, that went missing while on vacation with friends in Tenerife. You will know that many feel like his friend, Lucy Law, knows way more than she is saying. It just seems that from the start, she gave out too many details. Specific details without being asked. It also seemed like she was distancing herself from Jay that evening, saying that she was tired, beginning. so went home early. She only got a call from him the next morning. There is also a lot of speculation in this case about drugs being involved. However, Spanish authorities say that there is no evidence of criminality at this point. In my previous video, I spoke about some texts that were sent to Jay's mother about drugs being involved, and how Jay allegedly wanted to sell a watch in order to pay off a drug debt. Well, I have come across a person that claims to have had contact with Lucy Law while in Tenerife. Guess what the common denominator is in this screenshot and the ones posted in my previous video. It's the It's from a uh, someone Ki Kiyomi Changla. And it says, just wanted to come on here and say, on the 23rd of the 26th March, 
me and my friend went to Tenerife for a holiday on the 30th March in the south of Tenerife. Me and my, my, my mate went to Greek. No, I think I'm going to let him read it. Mention of selling coke. A woman named Kayomi Chandler claims that she was in Tenerife on the 30th March. She and her friend went to the Green World Festival. The first thing I noticed about this post is that there are a lot of spelling errors, but then I thought maybe English is not a first language. I don't know, I tend to take everything with a grain of salt. Anyway, her post says that she met Lucy while at this Green World Festival in March, months before Jay went missing. Lucy came across as a nice girl, so they were friendly with her. She was telling them about her drug selling, and how she did it all over the Canary Islands, and also told them about how she got drugs into the raves. She was with a mixed race man, who kept trying to offer out coke on the house. This guy added them to a Tenerife drug group that him and Lucy were admin on. She said the minute she heard Lucy's name, she knew that she had met her, but just needed the evidence to prove it. The only thing Kayomi claimed she saw Lucy sell was coke and pink stuff. They have images of Lucy at the festival. Isn't this interesting? More and more information coming out, and if this is all true, then there seems to be a definite drug connection in this case. What do you guys think? Oh, there's definitely a drug connection. Definitely a drug connection. We know that. You know what I mean? It's... That's why he went there. Because Lucy was telling him beforehand about how she does... How... As she travels the world and all this lot and goes to these really nice places and everything. So we know that she is di she's a mule. She may not carry it from one country to another. She's giving it in. She is giving the drugs when she's there to sell. You know what I mean? And then every night or every, whenever they come and collect the money and the drugs that they haven't sold. Uh, right, this is the final one by Evil Exist. Reason Jay Slater went with two men, right? The big question. So I don't think he did. What will go there? There are so many questions in the Jay Slater case. He is still missing, and with the search called off, police say they are still investigating, and this is an open investigation. It is very concerning, as there is so much information in this case that leave us with more questions than answers. Lucy Law has been giving out information, and we can only take her word for it. There is no solid evidence other than what she says regarding Jay leaving the house of the two men. Exactly. We only have... We only have her word. But how would she know about him going up with two men at the end of the night? Because she left early, alone, which we know isn't true, Lucy. And saying he is lost, needed water, and his phone battery was low. Same goes for Brad, who says that he saw Jay slipping off the road. They were concerned once they realized just how far Jay was from the accommodation. The two men that Jay spent the night with came under intense scrutiny, especially after an investigator that worked on the Madeline McCann case called for them to come forward, as he believed they were key witnesses in the case. In a turn of events, Spanish police said the two men were irrelevant to the case. They have since left Tenerife and returned home. Am I mistaken or did Lucy say that Jay met these two men that night? According to the interview Brad did, Jay met these men three nights before and they weren't random people. They were not strangers. Brad revealed that the men had befriended Jay and his pals three days before Jay vanished. They'd established a friendship, and Brad said they seemed like really cool guys. There is one big question in this case though, and that is why did Jay decide to go back with these men? I even heard that they made up a bed for him to stay the night. What made him leave with these two men instead of his friends? Apparently Jay went back with them because he wasn't ready for his night to end. However, he did communicate to his friends via phone calls or texts, saying, Oh, these guys have just gone to bed, maybe I'll just come back. Something else I find really interesting is how Lucy tracked down the rental. 
She managed to track the men down at their Airbnb before they left, using photo clues from Jay's Snapchat, which revealed his location. Makes me wonder if Lucy had been to that rental before. What did I say? No way did she track that Airbnb down by the Snapchat photo that he sent. No way. Because the door to that Airbnb is at the back of, the, of that building. It's at the back. Uh, yeah, I'll... Let's just go in. Let's just go in. I... It's at the back. And it's up here. Yeah. Right. See, that's the bar restaurant, right? And the Airbnb, the entrance to the Airbnb is round the back here. Right? So, if she, if he, she's going off that photo, that Snapchat photo of him standing on the doorstep with a blanket wrapped around him, having a smoke, how would she know that was there? Like I said, she knew these guys. She's been there before. She's been to Tangerine for a lot. Like, these guys have probably been to Tangerine for a lot. She knows these guys before. Were they the drug mule? Were they the uh, drug dealers? You know what I mean? Were they the ones giving them the drugs to sell? You don't know. No one knows. But how would she know from that photo? Have I got... I don't think I've got that photo. Right? From that Snapchat of him standing on the doorstep, having a cigarette, that is where he was. Right? Even if we took photos of the scenery and sent them like, out there, you wouldn't be able to. You wouldn't be able to tell which was which. So let's go on. Let's carry on. Oh yeah, they were startled and surprised because she. Apparently, she wasn't supposed to know where they lived. Hmm. No, she knew. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Hang <coughs> on. Right. So, she knows a lot more than what she is saying. She can't afford to say any more. Than what she's saying. Because it will drop her in the clink. Pandora bracelets in the UK. Will grow lovely on you. But because she's committed no offence. In the UK. That we know of. She could not be. Prosecuted. They've got to prove. That she did. What she did. And they can't. So you're safe, Lucy. No Pandora bracelets for you, sweetheart. The firm, Pandora, must love us when we say Pandora bracelets. Meaning clink, clink, uh, with um, handcuffs. <laughs> right, but her hands are clean. So unless she actually come out and say, yep, I deal drugs, I do this, I get into the nightclubs, this is how I get the drugs into the nightclub, this is how we sell them, this is how this is what happens when we chop at the end of the night somewhere, we hang back the drugs and the money that we've made. 
Unless she comes out and says anything like that. They've got nothing on her. <laughs> but then again, what charges could they say, even if she did come out and say, yeah, I'll do that. They've got no proof. It's only her word again. That's why I don't believe her word. And as I said, I don't believe that photo either, that Snapchat. You can manipulate the time, the date, everything about that picture. You really can. So, and then there's the thing with the phone, right? Now, from what I understand, right, when I was watching that video, that video earlier of that other guy searching, when he's panging around, I couldn't see no roads. And you'd see the roads from there. You really would. You would see the roads. Because the roads would be high up. So I'm wondering, was he searching around this way? But then again, you'd see these roads. You'd see the roads. So was he down this way? Right, or was he over here? Was he over here? Because if you go down the path far enough, you, you probably wouldn't see the roads. Right. So it's hard to say where that guy was. I haven't been following that guy. I wish I had. But from what I understand, right, a phone ping was round about here, round about there, or round about, where's that road? Here, you see, yeah, round about here, in this area. In that area, right? And I left first heard it was in that area. So I don't know where the phone actually pinged. I'd like to know for definite where the phone pinged. Was it in this area? Was it in this area? Or was it in this area? Now, I believe this is where that one guy is searching all this area. But as I said, as you could see in that one video that one guy done, it's so harsh and barren and dry, right? It makes it really hard to walk on anything. You've got a lot of brambles. You've got a lot of thick bushes that are sharp and trying to get through that lot. It'd be for, for a young lad in T-shirts and shorts and just pumps. Or trying it, whatever. That would be horrendous. And not only that, if you've gone off the road, right... And then realised, oh shit, I've made a mistake, I shouldn't have come off the road, I should have stayed on the road, I don't know where I am. Right? Would you not stay where you was? Would you not stay where you was? Right? Because I know if I'd done that, and I was lost. Yeah, I wouldn't have, say I didn't have a lot of water on me, and it was hot and whatever. I wouldn't keep walking. I'll try, if I come off the road, say I come off the road here. Right? Say I come off the road there. Thinking, I don't know. 
or I can get down here to that road. I can get bypass all this and go straight across here or whatever. Right? But say my mind was in that way of thinking. If. Right? Would, and I got, and I realised so far in. Oh shit, this is so thick, I can't get past this. I'm not in the right gear, I've got shorts on, I've got a t-shirt on, I've only got my pumps on, I'm going to get cooked to bits. Would you not try and get back to the path? Or even try and go back the way you came? Right, because how far could you go in a matter of phoning, having that snap uh, phone call, video call with your friend, and then Lucy May phoning at quarter to eight. Well, how far could he have got? His friend said he's seen him and heard him walking on gravel. And then he's, they're laughing about where he was. Look where I am. So how far could he have got in that short time? I've suddenly realised when Lucy phoned, I've got 1% battery, I've got no water, I'm lost. You could, he couldn't have got that far. He really couldn't have. Because it's just so thick. This looks like grass, right? But isn't it thick brambles and cactuses and... Yeah, let's see if I can get down to here. It won't let me go on that spot, but let, we'll go there. Um, let's just... Oh, not into the sky. See what I mean? It's just so thick with brambles and cactuses and you're not going to get very far. But what would make him think he could do that? Right? Perhaps he was standing, walking along the road. We don't know. Perhaps he was walking along the road. And he stepped off over this because a car was coming. We don't know. Perhaps there was a car coming. But if that was the case, then wouldn't someone say, Oh, I saw him. That Ophelia saw him. Could be that be when he probably stepped over onto this sort of area. And for to get out the way of the car coming up. Makes you think. But I still don't think he was up there anyway. I would be gobsmacked if he was actually up there. Well, no, I won't be gobsmacked if he's found up there. Because it all depends how far off the beaten track his body is found. Like, if his body is found, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'll right, just say, that's where the Airbnb was. Right, if his body was found somewhere like this here, here, it's not easy to get there on foot, let alone carrying a body. It's not easy because it's downhill, you've got brambles, you've got cactus plants, you've got dry stones, rocks that are literally moving under your feet as you step on them. So, it wouldn't be easy for anyone to carry a body. It would not be easy for anyone to carry a body out there. Because I do think perhaps I did carry his body out there. But it's not easy because it may look flat, but it isn't. It's down ditches and ups and downs and it's so uneven. And then you've got all these bushy, thorny, cactusy plants and it's just wild out there. So no way could someone carry a body into this 
place. So I'll be surprised if he's found anywhere on these mountains. Unless his body is found fairly close to a roadway. Which is easy to get to. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so here, we don't know what, let's see what it's like there. Ooh. Let's just have a look. Right, so it's not even flat there, it's downhill. See what I mean, it's downhill. So to carry a body anywhere, it's all downhill. And you've got the dry ground which moves and everything. So trying to get a body down there to hide it would be really, really hard. However, I've just seen something. I've just seen something. There's a path. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Right. Now I've just seen a path there when I was on that bend. And it's coming from over here. Who was it? But there was definitely a path. I saw the path. Where's that path? You can see it when you go on this corner here. Oh, go away. When you go on this corner here, you can see the path. Oh, back off. I didn't want to go there. So let's get out of this bit. I wanted this here. Let's get a bit close, perhaps. Yes, there is. There's a path. See that path? I swear to God. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can see me. Can you see that path there? It's leading from those places there. Along and also down there. So perhaps a quicker carried a body down there. There's paths. And that path goes all the way down here. You can see that path going all the way down. See it goes all the way. And there is there at the there. Let's see if I can just zoom in a bit more. That's as far as I can zoom in. But there's a path going down. And there's a path here. And it's coming from up here. Alright, let's have a little nosy round, shall we? Shall we have a little nosy round? Alright, we're going to go back. Come on. Come on. That's the Airbnb, right? Right, there's no, no rope path. But look. Alright. There's a path there coming down, and it comes from up here, down, and round. Or oh, there's the Airbnb. This is where they parked the cars. The door is at the back. They could have brought his body down here, down here, down here. And look, the path. 
So let's see if we can get closer to this path. See, can you see where I'm going? No, that's too close. You can't see. But there's the path. Right? And it goes down to here. Down. Down. Yes, it'd be a bit treacherous because you've still got all these bushes. But it's not packed out with bushes like there. You've got loose ground, dirt or whatever. And you could probably get down here. There. Around here. You could get right the way down to here. You could easily get round to there. Now, let's see if I can get a marker put there. You can I get a marker put? Right, let's see if it'll stay there. No. Right. But look, there's a road here. Right, as well. And the other pathway here. That leads to the little village, the other little village. So if anything, if he was, if he was there, right, would you not follow a pathway? If you're not going to follow the road, would you not follow a pathway? He didn't have enough on his battery phone because he said he only had 1%. That isn't even enough to do a video call, let alone a phone call as well. Right. But he could get all the way down there. You know what I mean? You could get all the way down there. It'd be a bit treacherous, but you could do it. You could do it. So if his body is found anywhere around here, and I'm not going to leave him in the open like this. They've got to put him in the bushes. Maybe over here. They're going to put him in the bushes. So they've got to get him down as far as they can down here. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say that is all flat because it isn't. It goes up and down and up and down and around. But there's definitely, look, you can see when you go over here. I knew there was a path. You could, oh God, here we go again. You could see it when I zoomed in. There's definitely a path going down there, and there's a path here. But there's def and that is coming from the back of that A, B, and B. Okay, so yes, they could have brought his body back in the car, and yes. They could have took him out there. Don't forget, it's the early hours of the morning. People aren't, uh, people may be in bed. People may, these are a lot of businesses. People not, right, may not be awake. Or businesses aren't open. Like the cafes and the pubs aren't open. So you say, say three o'clock in the morning. Three, four. Maybe a little torch. You could get down them pathways. Pathways are a lot easier to walk down than all this lot. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it's a lot easier. So 
So, yeah, his buggy could be round there. And you can see. Yeah, see? Oh, God, get rid of that. Come back. Right, let's zoom in again. You can see just there. See how that path is coming down? Right, there's another little path. Just here. Just here. Wow, and you have a little opening. But could they have carried him that far? Possibly. Two guys, possibly. Even three. If there's a third person there as well. Who that woman saw on the Monday morning and said it was a uh, Jay. She wouldn't know, really. She could be mistaken because all the kids, all lads look the same. They really do. And to be honest with you, sometimes I don't take notice of what people around me. I really don't. Unless I feel uncomfortable, then I'm watching my surroundings. Right? Like, especially in the winter, now my son goes mad at me. Because I don't like, I don't like people. I'm not a people person no more. I really, well, I am and I'm not. It all depends on the people, right? So, and the problem is, because of the medication I'm on, I don't wake up till about 10 a.m. in the morning. Some mornings I'm up earlier. I must admit, some mornings I'm up earlier. But some mornings I don't wake up till 10. And then it takes me a good two hours just to think, okay, I've got to get dressed. Got to have a wash, got to get, do my hair, got to get dressed. Then it takes me another two hours. And I'm not lying here. One day I got up at 10 and I came through, made myself a coffee, sat here, drank my coffee. This was before I started coming online, doing all this stuff, right? And I sat and drank my coffee, and I thought, I've got to go to the shops. So I went in my bedroom, and I got my stuff out of the wardrobe, put it on my bed. But then something else came to my mind. I thought, oh, so I've, had, I've gone off to do that. Then while I was doing that, something else popped into my head. And it was like, literally, two, three hours later, I went back in my bedroom. I went, oh, I've got to get dressed. So then I finally get dressed about one-ish, 12 one. But I still didn't go out then till about two, three. But then I found out, oh, on, all the kids are coming out of school now and all the mums are going to the shops with all the flipping kids. They don't go to the shops in the daytime. They wait till their kids come out of school and drag all these screaming, raging children around the shops with them. I'm thinking, what? If you're not at work, which I'm going off, because I see I'm coming back and forth to school, to home. You know what I mean? They're not at work. Right. Why don't you go to the shops in the daytime? Why wait till your kids come out of school? Anyway, so I stopped going out then at two or three to do my shopping. I thought I'll start going about five-ish. And my son gets mad with me because in the winter it's dark by then. So I think, okay, I'll just nip to my local shop. And one day I'm going to my local shop and there's this guy standing round and it's like a little cutting by the, by the library. There's a bench there. And I went to the shop, come back out and come home the same way. This guy started following me. So I've got my keys out of my bag and hooked them up into my fingers. And then as I've got nearer to, my, to where I live, a neighbour of mine was getting off the bus. And I've walked up. I said, is it all right for a walk with you? I said, I'm being followed. Right? And she looked around and said, oh, yeah, you are, aren't you? I said, yeah. So as we turned up to come to where we live, that guy carried on walking. My son was going, mate, mom, you don't. 
you shouldn't be going out when it's dark. You don't know what's going on out there and all this stuff. But it's the only time it's quiet. It's the only time of the day I can get out where there's no screaming kids, no no mothers holding up the queues in the shops. You know what I mean? I can go out, get what I want, and get back home without getting or without my anxiety building up where I want to smack someone to the point of literally knocking them out in the shops. You know what I mean? When I walk around the shops, I don't eye contact no one. My head's down. I just go in, get what I get, my trolley on my basket, get what I get, go to South Stands, scan out and go. That way I'm not waiting in a queue where they're standing there chit-chatting and taking half an hour to fill the to put the stuff through. I can go up to South South Scan, scan it, pay it out. And I must admit the shop where I go by me. Aldi's, good work. Their self scans I've never had any problems with. Apart from once when it kept, it wouldn't let me, came up red and I went, what have I scanned that I need approval of? I've got no alcohol, got no tobacco, got nothing like that. And you know what it was? Tinned baked beans. What? Said, yeah, I know. Said, it's something to do with the computer. We're going to have to re, re look at it. But it was, that was the only thing I've ever had a problem with. So I don't go out. So anyway, let's get back to this. Hello. Yes, most places in Spain don't open till 9 a.m. except the little coffee bars. But do you see what I mean here? Can you see the paths going down? So they could have, when you think, right, that's where the, was it there or there? I think it's there. That's where the Airbnb is. And there's a path that comes round the side here. And it comes all the way down here. So two guys... Yeah, I don't want to watch you on a police budget card. <laughs> I swear to God, when I first spoke to my doctor, because at the time I wasn't sleeping, I really wasn't. If I got two hours sleep a night, it was a flipping miracle. And I went to my doctor's and I told her, and I was, and I was telling her how I was walking down the road one day to go to my shop, my little local shop. And there's a couple, two people walking in front of me, fair distance. They wasn't hindering me. They was not hindering me at all. Right? But I just just wanted to slap their heads. And she said, I think you need to go on these tablets. <laughs> you know what I mean? I went, really? She said, yeah, I will help you sleep. So then you won't get so anxious in the day. Well, I've stopped the anxiety mostly because I just don't go out. Unless I know it's going to be a quiet period of the day. Then I'll nip to my local little shop. If I have to go to my big shop, it's my anxiety kicks in big time. Really does. I hate shopping. I do all my shopping online. Food shopping, clothes shopping. Electric, electronic shopping, Amazon, and me, I become name by name. They know me by name. And Timu, the delivery driver for Timu, he knows me by name. He knows me by sight. <laughs> anyway, but you can see there's a path. And I'm going to go to that again, to that view again. To where he was staying. Why? That's where they were staying. The door is at the back. And you can walk down here, down here, down here. And there's a the little path. See, there's a little path. 
and you can follow it round. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy, there might be some bushes there, but there's a path that you can follow around. All the way down. All the way down to this area here, which is all very open. There's no big bushes, very open. Right? Well, I'm not going to jump a body there. Because the helicopter, the whatever could see, they, if they're going to jump a body anywhere, it's going to be somewhere like over here. In this sort of bushy, thorny, cactusy sort of stuff. Or over here. And you know what I think? I'm not sure. I think them there. Right, these white things here. I'm not sure, but I've seen on another video that that TikToker Paul Arnott done when he was looking for some for this guy he was with, and he come across all these beehives. They could be beehives. But there's definitely a path. You can see it, and it comes all the way down to here, up to here, up to here, all the way up again, around, up, and look, there's the door to the Airbnb. Now, who thinks that I think... This is my opinion. That woman, she did speak to someone that day, but I don't think it was Jay. I really don't. I think it was someone else she spoke to. Could it be Brandon? Could it be this other guy who was another friend of theirs that was there? Because Brandon is a bit sus to me as well. Why wait 10 days to come out and tell us that he did a video call with Jay the morning he went missing? So, and what lad as well would we'll tell a friend the night before, well, when you get there, phone me, let me know, and don't forget to put your phone on charge. I don't know how many times someone said something like that to me and things like that. And I've turned around to them and gone, are you my mum? Feck off. You know what I mean? But that is possible. That is really possible because these people in these places are going to be fast asleep. Right? They're going to be fast asleep, so you could quite easily carry a body down there. You really could. But don't worry, him, cos I won't have my... I won't ever, ever, ever get Pandora bracelets put on me. I just stay away from people. So, but even here, you could come, they could have come down this path. You know what I mean? Look at this path here. There. Yeah. Let's see if I can get up to the road. Oh, look. I can actually get down there. Oh, where's that path? Let me go back again. 
Let me go back. Where's the path? There. Right. So it's mm, sort of, I'm going to bend just there. It's a turny, turny round. That's a hiking path here. Yeah. Hold on. No. Yeah, it's not doing it. Okay. But there's definitely a path from there as well. You know what I mean? So I could have parked the car up there and brought him down here. These people are going to be in a sleepy land. Quietly bring him down here. And there. But personally, I'll just bring him back. If I was at the B&B, if I was staying there, I'd just park up and get him out of the car and bring him down that way. So, anyway, I am going to go off this map because I don't believe for one minute he was there. Anyway, not alive who was not took there alive because i seriously believe and i'm going to go get off this minute los cristianos that's where his apartment was around here somewhere around here right this is where the um music festival was around here and this is where where was it going here yes i think it was no 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 where was he what am I looking for? Um, let's take it off. Uh, no. I don't want to go there. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there. That's where he was last seen. It's very interesting, isn't it, those paths? Right? And being as... Hold on, I'll go back up there. Right? Being as... When I was watching something the other night, right... They had a marker on a map. This woman had come up with this map. The same map that I've got here. And she put little red lines and arrows to go that way and arrow to go that way. Um, and round about here was where she marked it as where the phone last pinged. But as I said, if the phone pinged there, that could mean anywhere in an area, a big area. So if his phone last pinged, say, here, it's possible that they took his body down the hill and then just thrown his phone. Because that guy said it wasn't on a path because all the paths have been checked. Yeah? And you'd f find a phone if it was on the path. For Christ's sake, you find a pair of sunglasses. That guy did. 
so you find your phone. So that is very easily, so I've got a stub there, or just managed to come round this way and throw it into the bushes. Because he said, if this is where the phone last pinged, and I don't know where he was, right? I'm going to have to get his uh, TikTok details and go through his TikToks to find out where he was. But say he was there, say he was there, right, and he was on one of these paths that led from here over to here and from here all the way down to here, right, so But there's the path. You can you can see the path. Oh, it's not going to let me drop him anywhere. Would be interesting if Google had actually put points in these maps where you could drop your little man. You know what I mean? Rather than just put the roads in. They've done it on beaches, so why can't they do it on these places? However, so they could have got rid of his phone. If it's in this area, they could have got rid of his phone easily. Same as his glasses, got rid of his phone. I have never believed... Uh, well, I must admit, I gave it a, a day or so of thinking... Well, he could be up in the mountains. He could be, right? But then it was like, he's 19. He's not stupid. He's not stupid. Right? I know, I know a lot of 19-year-olds think they know it all. And they know feck all. And then when they get older, they go... I wish I'd listen to my mum or I wish I'd listen to my dad. Right? So. So I did contemplate, give it contemplate for about a day or so, but it was just niggling me about how, what Lucy said. And um, how adamant she was that it was up in the hills. And I'm thinking, why are you so adamant he's up in the hills? What proof have you got that he was up in the hills? You've got him saying he was up in the real hills. We've only got your word that he was on, you phoned him and that you actually spoke to him. We don't know whether you spoke to him. We just know a phone call was made to his phone. Did someone answer that phone and make out? That you spoke to him, possibly. And then did that someone after that throw his phone because his phone died? Get rid of his phone. Possibly. So I really don't think he's up there, not alive anyway. So let's go back to where. He was last seen, which was here, right? We know there's an argument. There was an argument about a watch. And it was from here he left with those two guys. Apparently, he left in a car. Right? Now, where's the road for them to get the car? Is this a road? I don't think cars are allowed along that be. So, where would they have got into this car? 
Her, hallo her. It's hard to say. But this was the last place he was seen. Right? And then that video of an argument come out on a beach. And you knew it was Jay's, uh, Lucy's voice. That was definitely Lucy's voice. So, was it this beach where they had the argument? Right? Over here somewhere. Because I know on the video you can see the curve. Actually, I think here. You can... On this map, you can actually get onto the beach, I think. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, see if my little man can go onto the beach. Oh, go. Oh, God, I'm going. No. No. God's sake. Does it to me every time that little man does. Right, now let's show it on here like there's water there, but we know there isn't. That's just like an overflow system. So that when they get heavy rain from the mountains, it'll come down there. Right? Now, my little man can actually go on the beach. Now I'm going to put him back a minute. Put him back, back a minute. Oh, for fuck's sake. I swear to God, I hate this little man. I'll get him on the beach in a minute because I got him on the beach yesterday. All right. Let's get him over here somewhere. Come on, let me go on the beach. Why is it not letting me go on the beach now? Yeah, it's told you. I'm, I'm, get, get back down here. Get, 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 oh, God's sake. Ah, uh, ah, uh, up comes so fucking quick. Right, where the hell are we? We're not on the beach. We're not on the beach. Yesterday, it put me on the beach and it won't let me do it today. And I'm getting so annoyed now, my little man. See these little spots? There, I'm on the beach. Now, on that video where it shows them arguing, you can see a curve in the water on the beach. Now, could this be the beach they was arguing with? But... Something else I noticed was on the front, there were flags. There were flags. So, there's no flags along the front here. Right, no flags along that beach. So, could he be... Uh, what was the other place called? Go here, we'll go here. I think I'll find it. I'll find it from here. Here. This place here. Oh, God. Right. Could it be this beach here? So here. See how I mean how it curves? On that video, you can see the curve. Of the beach. Yeah, let's just plonk him there. Uh, you can see the curve on the beach, but is there any like flags? Flags? No, there's no flags flying there either. 
but this was 2019 so but all i'm going wrong is the curve of that beach in that video so we know it's round like to this side because of the curve but i just don't know what beach it could be as i said it could be this beach this beach or this one and um, okay. where was papier yeah so it could be this beach not much of a curve on that one not much of a curve you know what I mean? That's what makes me think it's not that beach. So I'm thinking it's this beach because this is where we was last seen, right? Where the arguments broke out about a Rolex watch. And I think something happened that Sunday night, early hours in the morning, morning. Because the phone calls, they don't... And not only that, hold on, I'm going to try and find it for you before I go on to the other videos that I've got. Uh, TikTok. Oh, let's see if we can find this again. Not much is coming out on TikTok again. Because the... Oh. Three hours ago, police... Forensic police escaped the Airbnb. Wow. So I dug a forensic search. Right, I've done a forensic search of the Airbnb. That's interesting. Right. Uh, I'm going to try and find... What am I looking for? I can't find you. Well, right, I'm going to put this video on because I've got got to. Oh, wrong. I'm going to put this on. For you.
Thank you guys. Now that's it then, in the 60s and 70s and 80s, we didn't have internet, we didn't have social network sites, so they could, they could fob us up with whatever they wanted to fob us up with, they could tell us whatever they wanted and believe it or not, my parents would believe them. Right? Because that's what they did. They believed what the police said and what the paper, the reporters were saying and the news reporters were saying. The 6 o'clock news and the 10 o'clock news. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, but what gets me is they turned down help by the British. I can understand them not sending the police over because Lancashire police, like, no. But 
We've got search teams. We got qualified, trained, experienced search teams that could work them areas, right? They would have sent them over. So it wasn't as if they were just going to send a bunch of Lancashire police over. They were going to send, they would be sending over the search teams that know what they're doing. Then they put a call out on the Friday for experienced searchers who've got knowledge of that, of working in that sort of uh, terrain to come and help on the Saturday. They had six people. One of them was Paul Arnott. He was so angry that they wasted a whole morning just to release a press release. And then they started the search in the afternoon. Well, he went off. He took his name off the list, went off, got something to eat, and then started his own search somewhere else. So... It's their own fault. They had the chance. And now Paul Long is saying, they sh and others are saying, this money that's been raising and still is raising, we're going to have a look, see how much it is. Because it's still going up from last time I looked. Let's have a fun Let's have a nosy. It's gone up from £46,000 to £47,795. We know they withdrew something like 30000 to fly over family members. Out of that 30000 how much have they got left? Right? I, want, I would like to be seeing that money being spent on getting search teams, qualified, experienced search teams, right? That could go down them cliff edges, the mountain edges. You know what I mean? And search all those mountain edges, everything. They could do that. But they don't. They won't. They just keep saying no. Now, is it possible that they could use some of that money, like Paul Long said, to get the uh, Scottish Highland uh, search teaming? I don't know if they could bring them in privately. Or would they have to get the uh, police, the law enforcement over there, their permission to bring them in?
the set. Oh, let's just get rid of this. Uh, let's get that. Where am I? Where am I going? Is this it? Yeah, that's the one. Right. So, will the family calling and pay for this expert organisations, these expert search teams to come in and help? That now, if they don't, that would just say to me, "Well, you was only in it for the money." You know what I mean? You've got a fair amount of money. You're sitting there. Say they don't. Just say they don't pay or use those funds to get experienced search teams in. Right? My opinion would be then, well, you've got the money, so why not? You're sitting there grumbling and moaning about the Spanish police calling the search off, but you've got funds there Right, to fly these people in. You've flown all your relatives and friends and your son's ex-girlfriend in who aren't doing any searches. They're treating it like a big holiday. Right? Now, what if... Hang on. Let me go back to that again. Right? Why don't the family... Now, this isn't... Any criticism, I'm just saying, right? Why can't the family, right? I would literally, if I couldn't get up in them hills, I'd go as far as I could along here and I'd be searching. I don't know if we can get any, any closer into that. I don't know if we can get any closer down, I mean. No, right, but I would be trying to searching all these areas, all this, all these rocks. Right, you're not high up, put a um, a rocks and investors on you. So if you fall in the water, you're not going to drown. Search all these little crooks and crannies of these rocks. Because if something happened to him, like I believe, right, they either took him up in the car to the mountains, which is a possibility, or they put him in the ocean. They put him in the ocean. Right? Now, no, oh God, keep it in the wrong one. No, that's a, like, uh, oh, I'll do it again. They could have walked along there with him, with his budget, and just pushed him out. Because they've got to make sure, if they put him in the water, if he is, uh, if he was killed or unalived, they've got to make sure he gets past these two points. So taking him up onto here, or up onto here, Right. Right, you can walk up onto these. It's very uneven, but you can get up onto them. And you can get the body past these areas then. I'm just, just get off. Right. I don't think they'd have done it here because I'm not sure if there was anyone still about at the time around here when the argument was going on here. Or if it was that beach, we don't know. We don't know if it was that beach or this part of the beach or what. But we don't even know. I'm just saying I don't think it's that beach because the curve is not the right. If you look at that video where that so-called fight was going on, you'll see the curve like that. Right, you'll see a curve. 
And I think the argument was happening round about, if this was the beach, I'd say it happened round about here. Because the camera panned over to here. Then come back. And as it come back, it stopped. Why? I don't know. Don't know if it was a watching aim camera or someone filming it. But me, if I saw an argument going on, I'd, oh yeah, I've got my camera out. Oh yes. And my camera's not moving. You know what I mean? It's not as if they're going to be, say, say the fight was on this beach, right? Say it was on that beach. It's not as if someone was going to say, Oh my lord, someone up in these, in these apartments is seeing us. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be thinking like that. So you're saving off if you're in a video, if you're on your phone and you've seen that argument and you're videoing it. If you keep videoing it, why move the camera away? But I definitely think something happened. Because it was after this nightclub that the argument started. And it was from head there, he got in the car and went with these two guys. Right? That doesn't make sense to me. Makes sense to me to take a body up there and get rid of a body. You know what I mean? But like I said, if you go down here. Alright, let's just go to this bit here. Right. Where is that? Is it up here? No, the other way. The other way, Angie. Oh, over here. Over here. Right. There's no cars around here. Only here. Right. So if it happens on the beach, they've got to get that body across here into a car. Right. Without being seen. I don't know, but something definitely happened on that beach, I believe that, there's definitely an argument on that beach, the phone calls don't make much, because Lucy's gave three times, 8.15, 8.30 and 8.50, and now I've heard 8.44. I mean, no, he was talking to uh, Brad. Where's my TikTok? Right, let's see if we can find that interview with Brad. He said it was about 7.30, did he not? Right. Oh, come on. Oh. I'm trying to find that interview. So it's a way when I want something, I can never find it, and it turns my head in. Yeah. Could this be, could this be part of it? Let's have a look. Yeah, remember when I was on the maps and I pointed out those white lines? 
Them are beehives. There on there. Right. So people have beehives up in their mountains. Don't feed him the answer. You fed him the answer. Right, she said, I like this, I like her, but I wish I wouldn't give answers to him. You could hear the rocks. Uh, you didn't have to say that. You should have just said, so you said you could see his feet sliding. Leave it at that. Let them tell you. Because you're giving him the answer to say yes. You know what I mean? I like to look where I am now, he's laughing about it. But then it comes off that call to answer another call, which I believe was Lucy May. And that's when she's saying, oh, on that phone call, he was saying, I've got 1% left in my phone. I've got no water. I've cut my leg on a cactus. I think it's poisonous. I don't know where I am. Yeah, a minute or so before, he was laughing and joking. So what was he? Was he laughing, joking? Was he panicking? What? The two stories are not adding up. And for him to come out 10 days, and people say it was five days, it wasn't, it was 10 days. 10 days after. So it, that interview... I wish I could find the full interview again. Right. Let's see if this one's got more in you. See, I, I, I don't know why I keep watching that, those interviews because they just annoy me. And we haven't heard nothing else from Lucy May. So... Is she still on the island? Has she gone to another place to carry on her work?
So, um, I think a lot of these pe messages that the mother's getting are a lot of um, trolls. Yeah, here's one. This is it, Lucy May. Yeah. You know? Oh God, I hate this voice, voice. <sighs> no. It shows a picture of Lucy May, but it's not showing her interview. It's showing this interview. Right, so, I don't know what your opinions are, your thoughts are, do you think he went up to that Airbnb alive? Right, because if something happened on that beach, they've got to try and get his body from that beach to the car. Now we all know after a nightclub and music festival there's always stragglers around. They could have carried him as though he was on, like with their arms around him sort of thing as a made that he was drunk, passed out. That's a possibility. But they've got to get him to that car which isn't it all depends where their car was parked as well. But I would, if I was a family, I would start searching those rock areas. Because if he's putting that water, there could be part of his T-shirt, a pump, part of his item of clothing caught on rocks or something. You know what I mean? So I'll definitely start walking those beach areas with flyers, handing them out to everyone, pinging them up everywhere, ran by the nightclub areas. Because to be honest now, it's two weeks. A lot of the people that were there will probably come home by now. So possible witnesses have probably come home. Without realising they've seen something. You know what I mean? So, and it's like a lot of these people have released these videos. They're coming home and they're looking on their phones and going, oh, I've got this video. Oh, look at this. And that's why they're putting it up on TikTok and places like that. Because they've just realised they've just caught an argument on the beach. You know what I mean? So there's so many witnesses that they haven't spoken to because no one was going around that beach area. 
that's focusing on around the church area. You know that video that came out? Did you, anyone see it where two lads were hiding behind a bean? Like a big, what's the name, bean? Then you see these two lads run off and then two other lads chase them. They're focusing on that area. And I don't think that's Jay. You're telling me Jay Slate is the only lad who's been chased that night or whatever? No. They're all alcohol fueled, drug fueled, young teenagers, young men. Because they're not teen. I know they're class as teenagers because they're 19. But they're young men. They're old enough to vote in the UK, so they're young men. Right? And they're focusing, from what I've seen on one video with the father, that was the area the father was always in. One video was where they was up on the roadside by the mountains. And one or two videos with the father have been done round by that area, by a church, by these big beans. But they're not focusing on the main stretch. And that is where they need to be looking, on that main stretch, on the beaches, on the rocks, wherever, anywhere. You know what I mean? Because if he wasn't took up into in the mountains by car, then he was put in the river, in the sea. He was put in the sea, and if that's the case, you'll never find him. You will never ever find him unless the tide washes him in, which it would have done by now. Two weeks. It would have washed him in by now, the tide would have. But, no. He'd have gone out. The fish would have him, or the other creatures in the water would have him. You know what I mean? No. So he's either been took up into the mountains, for the car, and got rid of in the on the mountains by the paths that I've shown. That there are paths down that mountain that like they could have gone down. Right? And his phone could have just been thrown into the harsh uh, bushes, the ev you name it, cactuses, thistles, uh, brambles. You name me, sharp uh, plants, they're very sharp on your skin. So it could be anywhere. And if it's in the water, it'll never be found. Did you hear that case in the USA? I think it was where the woman was killed. Uh, Nancy Grace covered it, was covering it. And they've got the guy, and they brought him over, and he admitted to it, and he told, they t it said, he put a boulder around her, right, like uh, one of these big rock rocks, and, um, no, sorry, he hit her with one of the big rocks, sorry, then he put her in the water, waded out with her, and pushed her out. They're never going to find your body. Never. Now, could that have happened to Jay Slater? Possible. I've just pointed out possible areas where they could have put his, took his body. If it happened on the beach, how they could have walked along them rocks and floated and pushed his body out from there. Or they could have made him look like he put his arms around their shoulders and just dragged him to the car. And if anyone is seeing him, oh, he's just pissed out of his head. Because he was pissed out of his head. He was a ganger. He was out for the count sort of thing, really. Right? So, they could have made that out to get into the car. 
Yeah, and I took him up into the mountains and got rid of him in the mountains. Throwing his phone, got rid of his glasses. I'm going to have to follow that bloke on TikTok, the one who found the glasses, to find out where about he was when he found the glasses. But a lot of people I've been watching on YouTube are struggling with the timeline. Because there's no proper timeline. There's different times from Jay. There's another time from Brad. Which overlap with Jay. Uh, Lucy, I mean. So, there's no proper time as to when he come out of the club. When he left to go up to the mountains. No proper time at all. There's no timeline. And a lot of people think he's up in the mountains, that he went there that night. I don't believe he went there either alive. I don't think he was alive when they took him there. Now, if he was in the car and he had a stab wound, there'd be blood in the car. They need to track that car down. And do forensics on that car. They need to do forensics on that car. So they've done a forensics of the Airbnb. They need to do forensics on the car. The rental car. I believe it was a rental car. I'm not sure. But they need to find that car and do forensics on it. Because if there's no forensics like blood in that car, then he was put in the ocean. If he is dead, if he was killed that night on that beach, they put him out in the ocean. The quickest way to get rid of a body, put him out in the ocean. Because a body will sink. And the, to and the currents will just take him further down. You know what I mean? And then the fish would have him, whatever else is in the sea would have a, have a little nibble on him. It's not nice to think, it's not nice to say, but that is what the possibilities are. Plus, if he's up in the mountains, and he died up in the mountains, right, would there not be birds about, like scavengers? Would there not be any like, sort of birds like that? Like, we know, like, we know we get them over in the US and the UK. When there's a dead body, you'll get see birds flying around a certain area. Right? Scavenger birds. Yeah? Do, would that not happen up in the hills if there's a body in the hills? Would that not be a big giveaway if that? If there was such a thing as birds doing that in the hills. That I'd like to know. As well. So I think tomorrow I'll be spending my time seeing if they do have birds like that up in the hills. And see if that car has been tracked, found, checked. Forensically, because why are they doing a forensic search on the Airbnb if they don't think anything uh, of misfortune has happened? Could it be to check see if there was any drugs involved there? Because drugs get into everything. You think you can get all the drug up off a table, but no, you can't. Believe me, you'll get it everywhere. It'll get everywhere if there's drugs about. There'll be signs of drug use in that place if they was using drugs. And forensics would find it. I feel sorry for the owner of that Airbnb, you know what I mean? Because he can't let that out until it's been cleared by the police. So he's losing money on the Airbnb. Anyway, I'm going to say good night because my alarm did go off. 
nearly 20 minutes ago and I still haven't had my tablet. So I'm going to say good night and I'll be back tomorrow. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone being here with me. Aunt X, I really do appreciate you giving your time up to come and watch my video. If you watch, like, eventually, the best place to watch me will be on a live. Because once I get monetized, my videos will have adverts in. Because it's pointless me saying no adverts, because YouTube will automatically put adverts in anyway. Which means I wouldn't get paid for it. So if they're going to put adverts on my videos, then I might as well monetize my channel. So I can get at least get paid for these adverts being put into my videos. But it's not yet. I've got a little while yet to go. But once that happens, all my replay videos will have adverts. Not many. I won't be setting it as many. Some people have like... Oh, God. One person I was watching was... I think it was every 10 minutes. There's a flipping... Uh, advert I'm going, Really? And this is before I went on YouTube and I pay now extra so I can watch all these videos without the adverts. I pay extra so that I can watch it without the adverts. But if I don't pay, then I watch these lives, YouTube live, YouTube channels. I'm getting adverts and it's just my head in. Really, just my head in. So I'm paying extra so like, I don't get adverts but anyway i'm gonna say good night if you haven't already please consider subscribing hit the like hit the bell doesn't cost you a penny if you're an ex show me some love hit that heart i really would appreciate it and I will be back. And if you're on YouTube, hit the like button. If you're watching on replay, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow night. Till then, good night. Be safe.